Today it is King's Day here in the Netherlands. And that means we celebrate King Willem-Alexander's birthday and it's a national holiday. And as our king, of course, always rides around in a horse-drawn carriage. Um, <laughs> well, not really. Of course he doesn't. Not anymore. But they do have a lot of carriages. So I wanted to show you this. A few months ago, I believe in January, I was given um, a gift of some silver items. And I think I showed you in vlog number two as well. Um, there I showed you the silver tea set I was given. And this was part of the gift. And they're silver horse-drawn carriages. And um, they're not particularly valuable or special, but um, I like them. And I wanted to show you them. And this one is uh, a little bit more crudely made than the other one. They're very similar. And actually, the horses seem to be coming from the same mold. Um, they look, that one, those two look the same. But this one has, uh, well, you know, the, this, I don't know, is that an axle or... I don't know what that's called. It's longer than that one. And um, it's just the wheels are a little bit more crudely made. But um, And also on this one, I could not find any silver marks. Whereas on the other one, this is the pretty one, I think. It has a lot more detail on the wheels and on the carriage itself. And it's just a little bit nicer a little bit more detail but also it has silver marks and here you can see on the pole here there's a mark for amsterdam and then there's a little sword and that means it's silver and then also here there's another silver mark right there and then on the wheel, where is it? I think, I think it's over there. Yeah. There's another silver mark. So this one's well marked and um, it really needs a good polish, but I'll do that. And yeah, I, I'm not sure. Of course, it's not 12 scale at all. So, um, I know, don't know what to do with it. Uh, I would love to give it a some some place in my doll's houses, but I'm not sure where. But first, let me give this a really good polish. There we are. Gave it a quick polish and it looks much better already. Here's the other one. Ideally, I would use the polishing wheel on this and then it would really shine. But it looks quite nice already. I've done a few touch-ups to the ceiling of the kitchen room boxes. And um, so I have to do a little bit of spray painting again. Uh, so I've taped everything off. That shouldn't be spray painted because I'm going to use white. And, um, of course, the window is yellow and the beams are yellow. So I taped everything off and now I'm going to do a little bit of spray painting. Okay, that's the first layer. And in about half an hour I'll do the second one and then I'll have probably about five little layers of spray paint and then it will be finished. I think this is the fifth coat of spray paint I'm going to put on 
and um, I think I did one off camera but I think it looks really good now already so the final one should be that should be it that's it done As I was talking about tulips last week, um, I quickly wanted to show you these. And these are some flowers I received in a birthday bouquet last week. And at first I thought they were peonies or some other large flower, but they're not, they're tulips. Look at them, aren't they amazing? Normally uh, tulips have six petals and these have, gosh, I don't know, a lot. And um, you can see the stamen and the, they're in there. They're even in between the flowers, or the petals, right there. But I don't think I've ever seen such, well, we could call them double flowered, but... <laughs> It's more like 20, 20 times as many, many petals in there. So, um, yeah, I think they're amazing, but they are tulips. And uh, <laughs> um, that would be great to make that in miniature. A lot of work because there's so many petals, but they're beautiful. And while we're on the subject, uh, these are the tulips I showed you last week. And here's the green one, which is really pretty. And this, this is the one I thought was green as well and turned out it, it's red and a little bit of yellow. The carrot tulip. Beautiful on the inside as well. And here's another one, another pair of tulip. But I like that it's it's almost spotted. Just a little bit of, look at that, yellow with a bit of red. It's so pretty. So what I wanted to say is that if you're doing these in miniature, Basically, you can do whatever you like stripe-wise with paint because they come in so many colors and um, it's just, I love that. And someone suggested I should show you um, how I make them and I think I will. Um, and maybe use these as an, as an example or inspiration at least now is that let me just check something no i thought maybe the inside was more colored than the outside well it is a little bit lots of inspiration And this is always the most satisfying part, pulling off the tapes.
So now that the beams are in place, I can finally start gluing in the kitchen cabinets. And I had to be a little bit creative uh, gluing the kitchen cabinets because of the windowsill. I didn't want to damage that part. So <laughs> I used a few blocks of wood to um, keep the cabinets or the clamps, the glue clamps away from the from the windowsill. And, um, but I managed. And now finally everything is in place and I glued the countertops and these parts around the sink and the tiles for the backsplash are in place. And now it's time to start, finally, start gluing in the tiles for the back of the fireplace. And I had a lot of problems with these tiles and I ended up making them five times and I <laughs> I was really um, getting desperate because it was taking so much time. But I finally managed to get them the way I wanted them to look and so now I can start gluing them. I'm just putting a few weights on there so everything can dry flat. And that won't take too long, maybe an hour or so. And then after everything is dry, I can start grouting. I've been so busy working on these three kitchens, I've hardly looked at my own doll's house. And um, as I received the daffodils and the other flowers from Jill Rowling last week, I couldn't help myself and I just had to put them in here and they look so beautiful especially these daffodils look fantastic in the on this dresser I love the colors and I've put the small vase with the wild roses on the center island here and I love that little bit of pink that just that pop of color white and a little touch of yellow never goes out of style until next time